Hi guys, my name is Leah and this is my channel, Leah Vlogs. I'm going to start out my daily vlogs by doing a TMI tag. Question one, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a black sew t-shirt from Kohl's, a blue tank top from Kohl's, and a pair of jeans from Kohl's. Question two, have you ever been in love? That is a very good question. Um, I believe I was in love, but it was one of those in loves where you're only in love when you're with the person, and after it's done, you're like, yeah, I really wasn't in love. That's my in love story. Question three. Ever had a terrible breakup? Now... I'm only going to tell this story because I want other girls to learn from my mistakes. Um, yes, I have had a horrible breakup. Probably four years ago, I met who I thought was the man of my dreams. And we dated on and off for probably two years. And... I found out one day that he had lied to me about everything, his age, his name, where he lived, everything. You could technically say that I was catfished, but I had met him over a dozen times. And after I found that out, like, I shut myself out from the world. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was in a very dark place. So, yes, I have had... A horrible breakup before. How tall are you? I am five foot three and it's sad because my I was hoping to pass my mom when I was a little kid and my mom is five foot two so I only beat her by an inch which sucks. Any tattoos? I do not have any tattoos at the current moment but if I did get any tattoos I would like the breast cancer ribbon, and under it I would like to say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, because all of my mom's sisters had breast cancer, and my cousin had breast cancer, and my one of my uncles had throat cancer. So cancer runs in my family, and I feel that, for one, the cancer ribbon would totally fit. And for two, I really look up to my aunts and my uncles and my cousin who have all fought cancer. And I really feel that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is like the perfect quote. Any piercings? As a little girl, I got both of my ears pierced. Oops. Got both of my ears pierced. And then once I turned 18, I did get this side of my nose pierced, but I no longer wear any jewelry from any of my piercings because I am allergic to anything that isn't 14 karat gold, which kind of sucks. OTP. I actually had to look this one up because I had no idea what OTP meant, but it's one true pairing, so I'm assuming that's like your favorite celebrity couple kind of thing. Um... I'd have to say for this one, as of right now, I'm addicted to Nashville, so I think Scarlett and Gunner are, like, the cutest couple ever. Other than that, um, I watch The Fosters also, and I'd say Lena and Stephanie, I think her name is, or Steph, I think those are cute couples, too. Um, I don't think... I watch a lot of reality TV, so I don't really get to see couples, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Favorite TV shows? American Idol, Bachelor and Bachelorette, uh, Dancing with the Stars, One Tree Hill, Fosters, uh, Twisted, Pretty Little Liars, um, 16 and Pregnant, Teen Mom, Nashville, uh, Biggest Loser, um, 
I think that's about it. I I would have to literally go through my DVR at like everything that I have recorded because I know it's a longer list than that. My DVR schedule, like I have two to three things recording every night of the week, but off the top of my head, that's what I watch. And yes, when I say Teen Mom and 16 and Pregnant, I'm literally meaning Teen Mom 1, Teen Mom 2, Teen Mom 3, every 16 and Pregnant episode, season, or whatever. I'm not excluding any of the Teen Moms, so feel free to ask me questions about any of them. I've seen every single episode. Favorite band? Okay, now I am a country girl at heart, like everything about me country. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I am a broke college student. I went to Nashville and spent $300 on these beasts, but they are adorable. I'm country at heart, okay? Um, so back to favorite bands. Um, anything country, anything, literally. Uh, Sugarland, even though they're no longer together, they're still amazing. Um, the band Perry, Little Big Town, um, I can't think of anything else right now that's a band. Um, other than country, the only real band that I am in love with is We The Kings. I met We The Kings, um, 2012-ish, 2012-ish, um, since then, I have seen them over a dozen times. I have met Charles twice, and I have met, um, obviously I've met the rest of the band, but I was going to go on with that, and I don't remember where I was going to go. <laughs> I am a scatterbrain nerd, okay? So deal with this video. <laughs> something you miss. Um, something I miss, um, would probably be... My grandma, my grandpa, um, my grandma, my grandpa, my grandpa passed away when I was, I think, 10. So I don't really remember him very much, but from what everybody tells me, he was a amazing guy. He, he was amazing. And my grandma passed away, I think when I was 18, 19-ish. And she was, I was her, she has my middle, er, no, I have her middle name. My middle name is her first name. How about that? <laughs> um, and I was her angel. I was her everything. And she was my everything. And to not have her here with me anymore is, it's kind of hard. Because I'd really like to talk to her right now. Favorite song. Now this one is really, 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 really hard for me because I get stuck on a song and I play it until it is completely dead. Like, I cannot stand to listen, listen to it anymore on my iPod. And I've gotten to the point where I can't stand to listen to anything on my iPod anymore. So I end up listening to the radio. So right now my go-to song is probably Play It Again by Luke Bryan or The Story of Your Life by We The Kings. How old are you? I, surprisingly, am 22 and I don't feel 22. I feel like I am a child at heart still. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm not one to really follow the zodiac sign. I mean, I know what I am, but I don't read my horoscope. I don't, I don't believe in it because it never seems to fit my personality or anything that I'm really doing at the time, or if you get what I'm saying. But I am a Scorpio. Quality that you look for in a partner. Um, quality that I look for, they have to be nice. And they have to have a personality that is compatible with mine because I am very shy at points until you get to know me and then you can't get me to shut up whatsoever. I just 
talk to hear myself talk. <laughs> favorite quote. My favorite quote would have to be, like I said before, is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I just, I really like that one because of all of my family who has gone through cancer and survived cancer. Um, I just, it's a Kelly Clarkson quote. Maybe not. I know it's from one of her songs, but it probably was before that, too. But I really just like it. it. It's totally true. What doesn't kill you makes you a stronger person. Favorite actor? Um, I don't really... I follow characters. I don't follow, follow actors. But I would have to say for an actress, I really look up to uh, Jennifer Lawrence. And for an actor, um, I really like Johnny Depp. And just for the heck of going with the flow, Channing Tatum. Favorite color. My favorite color used to be purple, and it's still meh, kind of is. But I really like the color red. I got it there. It's there. And I got it right back there too. Loud music or soft music? Definitely loud music and I don't know if I should be proud to announce this but I have blown two speakers in my car in the four years that I've had it? Five years that I've had it? Yeah. Uh, loud music. Loud, loud, loud music. <laughs> Where do you go when you're sad? That is a hard one. Um, it's hard because I'm never not in a good mood for longer than like, God forbid, 20, 30 minutes. Um, if I was ever horribly, horribly sad, I probably would come up to my room and probably listen to some We The Kings because they always make everything better. Always. Always. How long does it take you to shower? Um, that really depends on what I'm doing. If I'm shaving, it's probably a good 10 to 15 minutes. But if I'm just washing my hair, washing my body, and getting out, it'll probably take me five-ish minutes. Yeah. Five-ish to 10, 15-ish, ish, ish. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I am a very low maintenance person. If I can wake up at 8 o'clock and be out the door by 8.30, I will look fine. Um, so if the shower takes me 5 minutes, everything else will take me 10, 15-ish minutes where I can just throw my hair back in a ponytail and be done with it. Um, but if I'm straightening my hair, I like to let my hair air dry first and then I straighten my hair. So it takes probably an hour for my hair to air dry. I don't like using hair, uh, what's the word for it? Um, blow dryers. I just... I feel like my hair is more staticky if I use a hair dryer versus letting it air dry. So, um, it could take me an hour and 15 to 10, 20 minutes to get ready. It all depends on what I'm trying to accomplish for the day. Have I ever been in a physical fight? That is a very funny story. Um, I would have told you no, but... I'm going to be open and honest right now. Yes, I have been in a physical fight before. It was very minor, but I was in a physical fight before. Um, it was either 6th or 8th grade camp, and one of the girls that I went to school with, and I believe I was friends with her at the time, told me that she had liked the guy that I had a crush on. So while we were at camp... We were all in line to go get dinner, and I decided to cut in line and walk up behind her and just 
completely shove her forward. I will never do that again. It was the dumbest thing I have ever done. Probably. Ever. What is your turn on? My turn on would have to be when somebody smells good. Like if they're wearing a good perfume or wearing a good cologne. Oh my god, like yummy. Just let me make out with you right now. <laughs> um, other than that, my turn on would be if they have a really good personality and like they can make me laugh. I really like that too. Oh, oh, and if they have muscles, I don't, I was eating jelly beans before. That's why I have this, because it was on my jelly beans, and I can't seem to hold on to it. The little clippy thingy, it's eating jelly beans. But no, if they have muscles, something that I don't have, I literally can't, cannot even flex this right now. It just looks like all fat. Um, muscles are very hot. I love muscles. Yummy. <laughs> I'm so distracted and my hands fly everywhere. Wee! <laughs> turn offs. Um, the major turn off is probably the opposite of what I just said. So, anybody who smells bad, anybody who is rude to people, and anybody who makes, like, if you go out with a group of friends and say, all of your friends have somebody, but you don't. If your friends, significant others, can't make you feel like you're part of the group without anybody there with you, that is amazing. And that's not a turn off, but you know what I'm saying. It... The reason I joined YouTube. The reason I joined YouTube is because... I watch a lot of daily vloggers and I wanted to start daily vlogging. The other reason I wanted to start daily vlogging, other than watching other people daily vlog, is I am currently going to school, I'm in college, and I am going for my digital media technology degree. That pretty much means I am learning video and audio. So the first semester, which I just completed, woohoo, go me! Almost a 4.0, if not a 4.0, they're still putting in the grades, whatnot. First semester, I learn audio. Second semester, I learn video. And the other, well, the third semester, I learn um, how to put it kind of together kind of stuff. And the fourth semester, I kind of put it now into the workplace kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. Um, my fears. My fears are spiders, insects, anything that is itty bitty and crawls and can ugh, gross, um, mice. Um, I have a fear. Spiders, bugs, insects, mice. That's probably about it. I don't think I'm afraid of anything else. No. Last thing that made you cry. Um, when I get very, when I get in arguments, when I get into arguments, I get very worked up and I end up crying over arguments. I mean, I cry so easily. It is so dumb. Half of the time it is so dumb. Um, the last time you said you loved somebody. I said I love you to my niece after I was done babysitting her. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name. Um, it's my name and it, I want to do daily vlogs. So, I mean, that's the other half of it. It's pretty simple. Leah Vlogs. My name. I want to do vlogs. Yeah. Um, last book you read. Oh, God. Um... Actually, this is the last book I read. I never finished reading it, but I am from Wisconsin, so this is my Wisconsin hero. And, I mean, he's super cute, too. He's super cute. 
I love them. Um, next question. The book you are currently reading. Book I am currently reading. It does have a cover. I took it off because same with this one. This was off when I was reading it because it just, it never seems to even stay on the book while you're reading it. Oh, another cool thing about this book, if I can get this cover back on, is I did meet him and it was signed. Which is freaking awesome! <laughs> um, so current book I am reading is The Fault in Our Stars. I am currently on chapter 8, and I really like it. Um, after having aunts and uncles and cousins and neighbors and God knows everybody else in this world that I'm close to, that has cancer, um, watching her fight it is just amazing. I I love this book and I want to finish this within the next two weeks on my break. Um, because I want to go, I want to read this first and then I want to go see the, the movie. So, that's the book I'm currently reading. Um, the last show you watched. The last show I watched was Cops. I was doing a live show earlier and I watched Cops while I was doing the, while I was waiting for everybody to show up in the live show. Um, last person you talked to. I was just talking to my mom before I started this. I was asking her what brand my shirt was because I wasn't sure and I wanted to make sure that it was the right brand. Um, the relationship between the last person you texted. I don't even know the last person I texted. Oh, I texted my... I can't see it. I texted my brother's girlfriend. We're talking about... Oh, my niece, because she was at a doctor's appointment and I was babysitting. So she was asking how my niece was. Um, my favorite food. Um, since the first of the year, um, I have been eating healthier, or at least trying to eat healthier. So, I would say my favorite food right now would have to be watermelon. Yeah, I like watermelon. I like it a lot. It's my favorite fruit. Um, next question. That was my elbow on the thing, not my butt. I promise. Um, place you want to visit. Uh, place I want to visit? I think Colorado would be cool to see. I would also like to see LA. But vacation that I know is not achievable place that I would like to visit would be Paris. I would love to visit Paris and I would love to visit Japan. Those are just two places, like, I love big city life and whatnot. Last place I was. Is that, like, vacation-wise? Um, I was just in Florida for Playlist Live. Woohoo, Playlist Live! Um, Playlist Live this year, like, it was good. It was my first year ever going to Playlist Live, so it was good, but... There were a few complaints, which I've already had established with Playlist Live. I emailed them and I got money back because I complained. Um, I really thought that the uh, the line passes were bogus. Like, they didn't work whatsoever. And I also didn't like that um, they tried to fit 8,000 people in at 50 people at a time right as some of the meet and greets and panels and other things were starting, like, if you're gonna have that many people, you need to open the doors a lot sooner than the first minute that everything is starting. Like, that's just, that's not right. 
No. Um, do you have a crush? I do not. Um, since my last breakup, which was a few years ago, I have been really focused on myself and making myself happy. And I don't really care to focus on anybody else other than myself right now. And I don't feel one bit bad about that. I'm perfectly happy being single. I love finding out who I am as myself. Um, but, yeah, next question. Um, last time you kissed someone. I kissed my niece when I was leaving. Um, I don't think... I don't know. I think everybody does that. That's what I was trying to get across and whatever. Um, last time you were insulted. That is a good question. I don't know when I was last insulted. I don't really get insulted very easily. Yeah, no, I don't remember. Favorite flavor of sweet? Chocolate. Chocolate. Other than chocolate, it would probably be cherry. But chocolate and peanut butter together? Oh, heaven. Heaven. Um, what instrument do you play? I do not play any instruments, but I would really like to learn how to play the guitar. I think the guitar would be really fun to play. Favorite piece of jewelry? Obviously, I don't wear any jewelry, but I do have a necklace. One second. I have a necklace that I got from my mom for my 21st birthday and it's just a little key and it hangs to like about right there on me. It's my favorite necklace. I love key necklaces. I think key necklaces are like the in thing now. Um, last sport you played. I I do not do physical activity. I, I don't like physical activity. I I don't like working out. I and I, I don't play sports. So <laughs> simple as that. Um, last song you played, or right, last song you sang? Oh, I don't sing. Uh, the only time I sing is in the in my car when I'm alone. That's the only time I sing, and I'm not gonna tell you what song it was because I don't even remember what song it was. It's probably a song on the radio. It was probably country radio. So. A country song. We'll put it at that. Favorite chat-up line. I think this is like favorite pickup lines. And to be honest with you, I paused this video so I could just look up pickup lines. And I am laughing to myself. Some of these are just hilarious. Okay. Are you an interior decorator? Because when I saw you, the entire room became beautiful. Let me try that again. Are you an interior decorator? Because when I saw you, the entire room became beautiful. <laughs> Are you religious? Hmm, 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 hmm. Are you religious? Where did it go? Are you religious? Oh, are you religious? Because you're the answer to all my prayers. <laughs> um, do you have a band-aid? Because I scra- Do you have a band-aid? Because I scraped my knee falling for you. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not a photographer, but I can picture you and me together. <laughs> uh, 
They say dating is a numbers game. So can I get yours? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. We gotta go back to the questions now. Um, uh, what sports have you played? What songs have you have I ever used it? I have never used a pickup line in my entire life. Um, so no, I have never used any of those pickup lines. Um, last time you hung out with someone. Um, I hung out with both my nieces today, if that counts as hanging out with somebody. And last question. Who should answer these questions next? Anybody who watches this video should do a should do a two. Anybody who watches this video should do a TMI tag. That's what I think. And I will see you guys. I'll post this on Saturday, so I will see you guys on Sunday. I am going to a concert, so I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.